But uh, last time we left off, I think we killed three mech bosses. You're the you're the manager at the bread store. The bread store. What is that? Like Olive Garden? Watching your stream from work? Don't tell my boss. Maybe your boss is watching too. Maybe your boss is watching. Oh look, it's uh, Shenron. All right, so yeah, we gotta kill Plantera. Is a is a goal. Um, we also had to fight a Goblin army so we can get the Shadow Flame. I don't really think we even need the Shadow Flame anymore. I might do a pirate invasion. No specific reason why. I just want to do one. So that's that's what's on the agenda right now. Let's get to it. What's my favorite anime? Uh, regular show. Rick and Morty. <laughs> I kind of wanna work on finishing this playthrough so we can do like a modded playthrough. I kind of wanna play through the Spirit mod or some other mod. How does this dude play a game over and over and not get bored? That's insane. Bro, Terraria is like Skyrim. There's so many different ways to play through it. Like, it's hard to get bored, especially with like mods and stuff. Especially with this big last update that just came out. <laughs> Have you seen like the videos I do too? It's not like the videos I upload, it's like the same idea over and over again. That's usually why it takes me forever to put out more and more videos because I gotta come out with creative ideas every time I do a video. Unless it's like very something very simple. Hey, before we move on with our video, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. The year is 2020. We have replaced our giant flip phones with slim and advanced smartphones, but for some reason, we still carry around giant pieces of leather filled with garbage in our pockets. Why carry that around when you can carry the Ridge Wallet? It's light, sleek, and industrial, plus it doesn't have to fold or awkwardly bulge out of your pockets. The Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 styles and colors including carbon fiber and my personal favorite, burnt titanium. Each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty thanks to the durable material it's made out of, meaning you could buy one wallet and carry it your whole life. The team behind Ridge Wallets is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. If all of that wasn't enough to win you over, check out the 30,000 plus 5 star reviews. So what are y'all waiting for? Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash raiders and use code raiders. The link will be in the description and comment section below. Back to the video. Come on bro, drop the damn map. Holy shit, how many blindfolds? It's very, sad, very satisfying to use this weapon. There's something about it. Maybe it's just the noise. There we go. We got a pirate map finally. Have you ever farted, burped, and sneezed at the same time? I'm pretty sure if you do all that at the same time, you're just going to explode. Load up. Bring it on, fucker. Oh, come on. Bring it on, fuckers. Oh, they're getting kind of close with these shots. There's a better way to do this. I just had to think about it for a second. Did I kill that thing? That angry dandelion? That's a rare bestiary entry right there. Whoa, that boy like faded in. Is that the Dutchman back there? Everyone come down. And then get fucking juked. Oh, there's a guy here. Why you have to ruin everything? This dude ruined everything. Fuck that guy. I had it all sorted out and then that guy had to ruin everything. Fuck that guy. All my homies hate pirate deckhands. Pirate deckhand, more like pirate dickhands. Fuck you. Come over here. No, stay over there. It's fine. <laughs> this dude said, Calamity is the kind of the only mod that adds in a lot of content that I played. Bro, what? And there's just a question. If you quit YouTube and streaming, what would you be? Uh, broke and on the streets. Are you ever going to do a face revival? That's kind of disrespectful. See, it's not. Oh, there's a plantera bulb. Oh, and there's a life fruit. Okay. All right. There's the bulb. We get to do the best thing in every Terraria playthrough. Next to making a hellhole and a wall of flesh arena. This is everybody's favorite part in hard mode. Making the plantera arena. Bro, if zombies can't break in the doors, they shouldn't sit there spamming the fucking door. <laughs> Just leave, bro. You're never getting in. Unless it's a blood moon. You're never getting in here. Like, they will just sit there banging on that door. Awful. I should beat your ass, Stacy. How dare I give you one of my precious weapons and you fucking break it right in front of me? If this shit was real life, I would break your neck, you fucking bitch. This dude, I said, here you go, Mr. Goblin Tinkerer. Please reforge my weapon to be stronger. He went, oops. My bad, bro. Uh, that's about 20 gold, though. It's like, fuck no. What the hell? Cut off his ears. See, if you're wondering why our uh, goblin looks like this, he's a kobold. Because all the goblins are turned into kobolds uh, via this texture pack I have. I'm going to put my mic super close to me so you can hear every time I breathe. <laughs> why is it raining again? I fucking hate rain. In Terraria. I love it in real life. you have any ideas what you'll play after this playthrough? Terraria's sex mod. Prostitution class. See, I was trying to decide between the prostitution class or the pimp class. The BDSM class also sounded really cool. But, uh, you know, I decided to go with the prostitute class. I think they have cool accessories. Play game. Alright, be right back. Don't hit me. I said don't, I gave you one fucking job. If you live in a house with snow blocks as a floor, like you're always wearing socks. For sure. For surely always wearing socks. 
All right, come over here. I feel bad. Let me kill you. Oh, what is happening? Don't come in here. Don't come in here. No. No. Uh, closing up for today. Don't come in. Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm just trying to make houses. I'm just trying to have some nice, peaceful time in Terry. And look what happens, bro. There's never peace in this game. Peace was never an option. I'm about to just start playing on journeys mode. I'm about to start playing on journeys mode just to fucking cheat. If we reach the uh, face cam goal, I'm gonna make 90% of the screen the face cam and then like 10% of the screen Terraria. So like the opposite. So instead of like a little corner where the face cam would be, it's gonna be Terraria's the little corner and then the face cam's the rest. There's a, there's a bee somewhere. I didn't even know my health was that low. I just made it to the bowl, bro. <laughs> Come on. Please say AO like you just started a video. I missed it. Ayo. That was low key whack. What do you mean, bro? Maybe I just don't have the energy. There's another mimic. See, I don't want to just like pass by mimics because of how much gold they drop. You're like 38 gold? Yes, sir. I'll take that. He said he'll give me 95 bits and break the bulb and recall. I'm not doing that. What the hell? <laughs> I went through all this effort to make an arena. You think I'm going to do that? This the arena does feel a little bit tiny, doesn't it? It's extra mode. We're good. We're good. It's extra mode. I feel like I'm starting to lose my uh, touch in this game. If you're adding 13 minecarts to the game, why not just at least change a couple of their speeds? Am I right? Would you make love to a butterfly? The minecart rant always comes back. Bro, I'm gonna be mad about those minecarts until they change it. They have to be changing those minecarts for 1.4.1. Do it for me, Relogic. I don't care if summoner still sucks ass or if master mode is still stupid because it's not for the worthy. Do it for me. Change the minecart speeds. Like, I feel like horizontally we had enough room to fight, but vertically, bro, if Planetary is like in this area, we're getting caught no matter what. Like, that's guaranteed damage. But like side to side, we were chilling. Vertically, like this shit was terrible. I don't know what the hell is this. I need a better grappling hook. I need a better grappling hook. I need a better mount. I need better wings. <laughs> There's a couple improvements we need to get here. You need to kill Queen Bee, then the Planetary bulb swans. Who does this do? He knew here. What's the battle? What's the death potion or battle potion recipes? Because I have no idea. Metal detector helps. Metal detector detects. I don't, metal detector detects non-metal stuff. I don't think the metal detector works on planetary wolves. That's not metal. Use the fucking guide. Do you see the guide near me? So you guys tell me about not knowing Terraria information all the time. But what about y'all? What about you guys? Let me get on your guys' asses about this. They're like he plays the game all the time and doesn't even know the recipes. It's like. Hello? Why did it take y'all so long to tell me a recipe? We gotta, we gotta have that same ener energy back and forth. With the recipes, bro. Cough up the recipes. Fucking bitch, Pylon's noob. What the hell is this dude talking about? Are you trying to like diss me or something? That sounds like a fucking spell. My table might start floating if I say that again. You should get a legendary zenith. Yes, I should get that legendary sword on my bow on the character. Genius. We got a fucking mega mine in the chat, guys. I think my favorite thing about uh, me having cheat sheet and calamity is how it drives some people crazy. But it's like in a vanilla playthrough, you know, what's stopping me from just cutting the video, going to another world and getting items? <laughs> Nobody would know if I did that in a vanilla playthrough because I would just cut it out. So I don't know why people weren't more paranoid in a vanilla playthrough, bro. They're like, we're not seeing every single second of gameplay. How do we know he's not cheating? I could do this right now. I could do this. And you guys wouldn't know if I'm cheating or not. Hey, you guys don't know. I might have just put a bunch of gold in my pocket. Hold up. Let's put this gold away real quick. Okay. Hey, we're back. What happened? I don't know what happened. Guys, the screen went black. So that, that's that's always the funniest thing about people like speculating that anybody's cheating in any video. This goes for like everyone, not even just me. It's like you don't know. You really don't know. <laughs> this shit's a ripoff. He gave me the same thing three times. Thank you. We need to be able to rough this guy up. You know what I'm saying? Beat his ass. He made me pay three times for the same reforge. And that was a lot of gold too. I should be able to beat his ass. Easy. Let's let's find Plantera. Let's beat her ass. All right. Well, we already know where the bulb is. We gotta do the fun part, and that's making an arena for like 30 minutes. This is a lot of area. Like this is a, this is way better than our last arena already. What the fuck? Who shot me? I heard the shot, but I didn't see it. All right, if I die to Plantera here, I just give up. I'm ending the playthrough. Look at this room. This, this better be enough room. I can actually use this. 
That's how much room there is. Bethesda team, now that Microsoft is going to make them finish the games before launching. <laughs> it's true. It's true. They're going to actually make them have to finish the game. Only two flowers. Don't make fun of my flowers. I didn't know that I barely had any flowers here, okay? So only two flowers, poggers. There we go. Look at this. You guys know the Berlin Wall? This is like the Berlin Wall of Terraria. Berlin Wall? Question mark. There is no way this stuff gets corrupted. If this gets corrupted, bro, they earned it. You can keep the corruption, bro. Or you can you can have it. I didn't want this area that much. Look at this. Let's do it. Whoa, what the hell? She spawned like right here. I'm hoping this pierce. Oh, I was trying to get a good dodge there. Now we might lose like a million of our health. I feel like for this arena being the size, I feel like I still have troubles flying around. Uh, I feel like it's still super hard to like get to the peak of this arena. Can I switch to the short shot bow? I was trying to switch to the shot bow the whole time. But it did that thing where like, if you do this and then you switch, and you hear the switch noise, it still stays on the weapon. There you go, Planter is dead. We spent like 30 minutes on the arena for uh, like a 30 second fight. Damn, the first tip on the wiki. The pulse bow is generally considered one of the best bows in the game. And then it says, although the tsunami and phantasm cannot damage it. It's like, bro, what the hell's the point of saying it's the best bow? <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> Look, off. Look how funny this dude walks. This is like the only like good NPC sprite right here. He has like a whole ass animation. All the other NPCs, they have the same, same old boring animation. This motherfucker, they went all out. They hired someone for that, bro. That boy got swag in his walk. Mini nuke? What the fuck? I didn't even know this in the game. What was that noise? It sounded like a firework, a gunshot, uh, a fucking musket. I don't know if you guys heard that. Motherfuckers are dueling. <laughs> Motherfuckers are dueling somewhere, bro. They're dueling with some muskets. They said, take 10 steps, turn around, shoot. She's dead as hell. She's dead. Bree! Survive! NPC Olympics! Oh my god, she's actually doing work. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, I needed a haircut, so... What about you? You need a haircut? Take a little off the top. Oh, shit, I forgot they fly two walls. Can you give us a taste of your reaction? 20 year $500 goal. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! There's my reaction, though. Like, actually, like, being loud. I'll be like, ayo! <laughs>